When I posted the video the other day about improving surface quality, I realized after the fact that I had forgotten to mention another trick. Uh, it's ironing. You can iron the top layer of your model to make it nice and glass smooth. It takes a lot of time. It basically almost doubles the amount of time your print will take to finish. Uh, but it might be worth it to you if you need a very, very smooth finish. The only thing I will say about using ironing is it's not great to use in all scenarios. It doesn't fix everything. It's not the end all be all. Uh, I tried to use it one time on a model that had lettering and uh, it didn't, it just smudged the letters across the background. Uh, so it had like a background color and then it had text and the text was flush with the background surface and it just smeared it all across. So it's not appropriate in every situation, but it might help in some. So for this particular model, I don't want to iron the skull because the skull has some really great texture that I'd like to keep. Uh, I If it irons inside the eye holes, it's not the end of the world. I just want to iron the wings really. So I'm going to need a height range modifier like I showed in the last video. Um, the thing about height range modifier is if you don't know exactly what this height is uh, in the slicer, you can always slice your model and um, use the little scroll bar at the side here to scroll it down and see what height range that area is on. So that's my method of choice. Uh, there's other ways to figure this out, but I'm going to say starting from, because I want the wing to iron, is it adding another layer to the wing here? Just the outside of the wing. We don't necessarily need that uppermost layer to be ironed. So I'm going to start at 1.48 and finish at 8.84. Or actually might want to go, yeah, 1.48. We can do that. So right click my model and do height range modifier and put in 1.48 to eight point who cares you can do nine if you don't remember the exact amount um, and then I'm gonna turn on ironing for the entire model under the global settings so ironing for me in this slicer any cubic next is under quality and ironing did I go past it I went right past it here it is I'm going to turn on ironing for all top surfaces and then I'm going to go to my objects list, click on my range modifier and say for this range here, my skull range that I selected and I typed in right here, I don't want ironing. So in the quality settings under ironing, where is it? I'm going to turn it off. I left the pattern on rectilinear for ironing. Uh, I think that'll be fine. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, it made all this nice and smooth. And it looks like it ironed in the eyes, which is fine. Now you can tell that this is ironed because of the color. So you could see it turned like an orange color. It's not red anymore, um, like our top surface usually is. So this indicates that the wing and the eye holes is going to be ironed. The skull is not. It is still red and orange and yellow, which is fine. If we saw any purple in the skull, uh, the internal solid infill, if we could see any of that, 
we would definitely want to um, adjust our settings so that you don't see infill. Uh, that means there's going to be a hole in the uppermost wall and it's going to be noticeable. So no purple means we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and send this off to one of the printers. Let me see, that one's printing something. Oh, I forgot to turn it black. Okay. If I were to tell it right here to use black and I hit start print, it reverts it back to yellow because it thinks yellow is closer to that gray color for some reason. Um, I've tried it before. It really stinks that it doesn't work, but this, you're supposed to be able to override it, right? Here, let me show you again. When I hit remote print, it says right here, auto matched the suitable print slot. You can manually change it. Okay, great. Can I? Let's do that. I want this to be a black butterfly. I chose black. I'm going to hit start print and watch real quick. It's going to flip it back to yellow right before it sends it to the printer. I absolutely hate that about this slicer. It does it all the time. So now I have to stop my print. Then I have to go back to the prepare menu, change this to black, slice it again, and send it again. Oh, it's still canceling. We have to wait. I wish any cubic would fix this bug. It been there since day one. Now it's matching black to black and I can go ahead and start the print and this will stay black. And there it goes. Look how smooth the inside of the wings came out. Almost eliminated any um, layer width lines that you normally see. Just very smooth. We still got to keep that great texture on the skull. If you can hear that clicking in the background, that is my dog Max running around the house. And if you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. If you have anything you want me to demonstrate, drop it in the comments and I will work on that. Thanks.